Hello, my name is Tyler and I am your Puzzle Master Insider. Welcome to my second video where today I will be giving you an inside look at the puzzle Fantastic Five. Fantastic Five is one of the original 10 puzzles that Puzzle Master founder Alan Stein first produced in his basement in 1991 during the inception of the company. This is video number two in a series I will be calling The Original Ten, where I will be introducing you to the very first puzzles from Puzzle Master. This includes the puzzles Heartbreaker, Handcuffs, Iron Maiden, A Puzzle, Lion's Lair, The Rack, Scorpion, Wedding Vows, Cowboy's Hobble, and today's feature, Fantastic Five. Fantastic Five is a wire puzzle made from 3mm or 1 8 inch thick nickel plated wire with three nickel plated rings and two wooden purple painted beads. Unlike the Cowboy's Hobble from video number one, which had a very simple looking design, the Fantastic Five is a complex looking pentagon shape that visually lives up to its difficulty rating of 9 on Puzzle Master's difficulty rating scale, which runs from 5 to 10. As I said in video number 1, this line of wire puzzles is now manufactured in China, but used to be made here in Canada. There are a few distinct differences between the Fantastic Five manufactured in Canada on the left and the newer ones manufactured in China on the right. First, the Canadian-made version does not have plating on these two wire pieces with wood beads on them, because in order to get the bead in place, they had to bend the loops on the end of the piece after the bead was on. If they were already plated, the process of bending these two loops would crack the plating. Thus, the bare wire on these two pieces when manufactured in Canada. The real question is how do the Chinese manufacturers do it? Second, the beads are a slightly different shade of purple on each puzzle. Third, the Canadian version has a thicker ring that needs to be removed. The Chinese version has a ring the same thickness as the other two. If you want to find more information on the Fantastic Five, or a number of different puzzles with the same basic solving mechanism, take a look at page 102 of Jerry Slocum and Jack Botterman's The Book of Ingenious and Diabolical Puzzles. Here you will find a history of this and other puzzles. The objective of the Fantastic Five is to take the larger of the three nickel plated rings off. The solution itself is very similar to that of another puzzle I will be doing in the original 10 series, called The Scorpion. I won't show you that solution today, but keep an eye out for it in the next video. Next, I will show you the solution. If you aren't interested in seeing this, then please stop the video here. Four, three, two, one, zero. Here is the starting position for the Fantastic Five. You'll notice it makes a pentagon shape. The bottom of the pentagon is made up by three pieces, joined by these two joints. The top of the pentagon is made by these two pieces, joined here at this joint. You'll notice the ring is positioned over here on this straight piece. Now it can go on the outside of that to there. If that is an incorrect starting position. We want to start it inside the pentagon shape and make sure that it's sitting on that single piece there, the straight piece there. The first move you want to do is you want to take this loop and you want to put these two straight pieces up through that loop getting you to here. Now what you can do is you can put this this uh, ring and straight piece down through the narrow side of the loop which is incorrect and later will uh, will lead you to an unsolvable point of the puzzle. Instead you want to take these straight pieces put them over to the narrow side of that loop and put the ring through the wide side of the loop. Follow it through with the straight piece, getting you to that point. 
Next, you want to grab the ring, bring it up and around over those two straight pieces and again over the end of the loop. Next, you want to take the ring, put it up through the loop piece there and over those two straight pieces, taking the ring off. Now if you want to get the frame back to that original configuration, you want to take the, the uh, straight piece and the ring through that loop and again both straight pieces through that loop once more, getting you back to that pentagon shape. Now to do the, put the ring back on, you'll want to do everything in reverse, which means you'll take that ring or that, that loop piece again, put the straight pieces up through that, that loop, bring them over to the narrow end, put that ring through the wide end of the loop, follow it through with the straight piece, getting you there. Next, you want to grab the ring, put it over top of those two straight pieces, and down through the wide side of the loop. Getting you attached just, the ring just attached to those two straight pieces. Next, you want to bring it, the ring up over those, the loop and over those straight pieces onto the original starting position of that ring. And again, you'll want to bring that ring and the straight piece up through that loop. And then again, both straight pieces down through that loop piece and back to the starting position. Fantastic Five is available at puzzlemaster.ca. That wraps up video two of 10 in the original 10 video series. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, or follow us on Instagram. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a very puzzling week.